Welcome back to our art channel, everyone. My name is Emily, and this is Luke. Luke is six years old, and today, what are we sketching and painting, Luke? Ice cream cones. Ice cream cones. It's the perfect summer activity. So supplies you'll need for today are some watercolor paper. I'm using Strathmore Ready Cut 5 by 7 inch watercolor sheets. These are made of cotton, and I do recommend using cotton watercolor paper for watercolor. It just works the best. Just use whatever supplies you have, but I don't recommend using something like printer paper because it will kind of buckle and warp and it just won't work very well. So use thick watercolor paper. We each have a watercolor brush. These are size eight round brushes. We each have a pencil and a Sharpie. And we also have something called washi tape. Washi tape is just a waterproof masking tape. And we're gonna use these to help get nice straight lines for our ice cream cone. We have water jars and some watercolor paint. I just have tube paint that I squeezed out on my palette. Bunch of different colors. The colors don't matter. You get to choose whatever colors you wanna use, right? Mm -hmm. I will say for the waffle cone part, you might want to have a tan, like this is yellow ochre, this is a warm yellow, you might want to have something like that for the cone part. But for the ice cream, I mean, ice cream comes in all different colors, right? What yeah. color are you going to make your ice cream? I'm going to make it pink and green. Pink and green, I love that. What great choices. Alright, so I'm going to take a spray bottle and just activate our paints. So they're ready to go and we can use any color we want. Oh, we'll also need paper towel for blotting. That's important. One for you. Okay, so to start out, we want to do the ice cream cone, or the ice cream part first. So grab your pencil. So I actually have a picture and I'll attach this picture to the description below so you guys can download it. It's a free picture from Pixabay, but it has a bunch of ice cream cones all set up in different colors. And we're kind of glancing at that for inspiration, right? Mm -hmm. We're not gonna try and copy the photo perfectly, but it's giving us some ideas. So we're gonna start by creating a oval shape here at the top of your paper, somewhere towards the top. The ice cream goes on top, right? So try to make it in the middle of your paper Mine's not perfectly in the middle. I'll adjust it a little bit. And you can always fix your circle if you don't like the shape. So a rough oval shape or a circle. And that's gonna be the top scoop of ice cream. So it needs to be a good one. Oh yeah, nice scoop. Now underneath that scoop, we're gonna have another scoop. And we're gonna start with a line coming out a little bit below our circle. And we're gonna start to draw another partial circle underneath that first one. See how it looks like two scoops stacked on top of each other? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's an even bigger scoop. Nice. Now for the cone part. If you have your tape, we're gonna use this to create the straight lines for the cone in an upside down triangle shape. And we'll need two pieces of tape. If you wanna draw it first, you can, but we're gonna do a triangle shape like this. And we're gonna use the tape to make those borders. So try doing one side at kind of an angle. Nice cone shape, there you go. The tape is actually gonna protect your paper from getting wet with paint. And you can trace it like Luke is doing if you want dark borders on your ice cream cone. We each have our cone shapes, how cool is that? Now, you can take your Sharpie and outline your ice cream if you want. Now this is where you can have a little bit of fun and you can make your ice cream kind of bumpy, kind of melted. Let me show you an example of that. So on the bottom of this one, I'm gonna add some little slurps, little goops. Make it look like it's melting a tiny bit. Don't make your ice cream too perfect. Not a perfect circle, because that's not how it comes out in a scoop usually, right? Mm -hmm. So a little bit of a drip is okay. And then if you want to, you can trace your cone shape inside of your tape. We'll leave the tape there for now, because when we add our paint, it'll help us stay inside the lines. Nice little drip, love it. Well done. All right, so you've already decided what color you want your ice cream to be, right? Mm-hmm. Here, we'll take this extra Pink off. and green. Okay, let's grab our watercolor brushes next. And you're gonna need your paper towel close by. The paper towel is to help control how much water is in your brush. If, if you have a ton of water in your brush. Yeah, you need to blob it. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta remove actually most of the water most of the time. But first, let's do something called the wet on wet technique. So we're gonna take our water, clean water in our brush. You got some water in your brush? Mm -hmm. Soak it all the way. And then just scrape your brush a little bit on the side of the jar. Now we're gonna paint the cone part first. So just paint inside of your cone with pure water. It's almost like you're painting with white. And try to avoid your little drip if you can, because that's gonna be a different color. So we're gonna let the water soak into the paper for just a second. Did you paint it all the way in? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so now we're gonna grab a color, a yellow color, maybe this tan or this yellow for your cone. And I've already wet the paint, so you should just be able to scoop some paint out of that palette and paint in the cone. But what about the lines? We'll get to that in a minute. Good question though. Just paint it all in with your tan color. If you have a lot of water on your paper, try and soak it up with your brush a little bit or with your paper towel. So I'm gonna wipe on my paper towel. You might need a little more paint if you want it to be darker. Dip into your paint well again. That's good. And because we pre-wet the paper, it should just kind of spread out and smooth itself out naturally. That's what the wet on wet technique does. And having the tape there, you can paint over the tape and that will ensure that you're staying inside of your lines, but the tape prevents it from getting outside of the lines. Good. You can paint the, the um, tape. You can paint over the tape. Yeah, it's waterproof. No. Oh. <laughs> you're testing it. <laughs> Why don't we get that edge just a little more? Now, while it's still kind of wet, we're going to add a shadow to our ice cream. Do you see in our picture how there's a shadow on that side? It's darker on that side of the cone. Mm -hmm. So let's actually take some of this brown, whatever brown you have. If you want to rinse out your color first, do that. Remove some water on your paper towel and then scoop up some of this brown. That brown or this brown, either one is fine. And then we're going to paint it on the right side of our cone, moving along the direction of that slant of the cone. Mm -hmm. Mine's too dark. I'm going to remove a little. Yours is perfect. Well done. Now, if you want to create the look of a cone, start doing some lines going crosswise, straight horizontal lines coming across, really light. Uh huh. Then go the opposite direction. This is called cross hatching. Mine looks bad. It's okay. Bad. It looks like a cone. It looks yeah. bad. Do you feel like you covered up too much? Yeah. Okay, we can fix it. I'm going to take a clean, damp brush and scoop up some color. Does that look a little better? Yeah. So we'll scoop that up. Now you got to be careful because it actually lifts the paint all the way. If you want to make it look more yellow again, just grab some more of your yellow. I want to redo the dark shade. Okay. Too. And this spot right over All right. Well, the best thing to do would be to let it dry all the way before we try it again. So let's just leave it alone. We'll move on to something else for now. Let's do our first ice cream cone color. Let's make the top one. Whatever color you want. And I'm going to start with water again. So with clean water, paint inside of your top cone, just the top one first. We want to try to kind of keep our separate spaces when we're working with wet paint so that it doesn't all blend all together. That's why I'm working on the top one first, so it doesn't blend with my cone. Yeah, a little more water even. You can make it more wet. Try not to scrub your paper. Just lightly paint your water into the top circle. All right, so what color are you going to use? I'm going to use um, pink at the top. Pink, awesome. All right, well, this color right here will be a good pink for you. So scoop some of that out, not too much, just a little bit. And if your brush feels kind of dry, ooh, that's perfect. That looks good, actually. Spread it around and maybe make this part a little lighter so not as much paint there. Put more paint on the right side where there's a shadow. So I'll show you how I'm going to do mine, too. I'm going to make mine blue. Mm. I'm going to have most of my paint concentrated over on the right side. And you can make it kind of splotchy. Leave even little bits of the white of the paper showing so that it looks shiny, shiny and frozen. So leave some of the white on the top left corner, white of the paper. See how I'm leaving some of it untouched by paint? Now make more paint over here. So grab even more from the palette so you have darker pink on the shadow side. Okay, so grab even darker paint. Even darker paint. Yeah, from the palette. And Paint over the right side in the shadow. And if it's kind of not going very smoothly, what you can do is just dip the tip of your brush in the water. But that won't take all the paint out, but it'll help loosen it up on your brush. Good. Carefully stay in your lines. This ice cream cone looks very good. I, I like how that looks, actually. I don't think you need to change anything. I just need to add these parts. Mm -hmm. Some lines, maybe. So fill in a little more of the pink, but it can be kind of bumpy. That looks good the way it is. What do you think? Great. Do you like it? I like uh -huh. it too. Next color, let's green, do the same green. thing. Now we might want to let this dry all the way. I have something called a heat tool. 
You can use a hair dryer too, that'll work just as well. But that way, my blue is not gonna blend into the next color and your pink won't blend into the next color. So if we dry it, that'll keep that from happening. Okay. All right, grab your water once again. So paint with your clean water in the second scoop of ice cream. And just like we did with the first one, we're gonna try to leave some shiny spots where just the white of the paper is showing through. So that means we have to kind of paint around little circles to make them look shiny. Okay, what color are you gonna do next? Green. Green, I like it. So there's this really bright green right here. I think that would look pretty. Or yeah. there's this one here that's also very bright. I'm gonna use the brighter one. Okay, I'm gonna do pink. So I'm gonna switch with you. Pink for me, green for you. And really try to concentrate the most color on the right side of your cone and make a little lighter color on the left side. Looks super delicious, doesn't it? Nice, I like how you're putting darker color in the shadow side. That looks really good. I like yours better than mine. I love that, that green looks delicious. It's like pistachio or mint. What do you think? Mine is gonna be lime. Lime, even better. All right, so if you wanna add your lines to your ice cream cone, now is a good time to do that. So I would take this burnt sienna, it's a light brown, reddish brown, not too much water though. Remove most of the water. And you want your brush to be coming to a nice fine point. You might need a little more paint. And try not to flatten your brush out, just hold it up so the tip of the brush is making the lines. Very good, that's much better. Yeah, and then going up, trying not to flatten the brush where it takes the lines out. That part's hard, isn't it? Well, let's try it one more time. We're gonna dry it all the way. I think it was still a little wet. Okay, let's try this again. So I think the problem was that you had just a bit too much water in your brush and you can even kind of test it out like this by swirling it around. And now I think it might be ready. So try and do some upstrokes to create those straight lines. Can you do it for me? <laughs> yes, I can do it for you. Are you sure? You don't want to yeah. try it? Well, it's hard. Okay, so I'm holding the brush really high. See how I'm just letting the tip of the brush touch? Yeah. And then you can go crosswise like this. All right, that looks very good. You want to fill in a couple of little squares too? Yeah, that would make it shadowy. Yeah. Just the ones on the right. Uh -huh. Nice. Those look super delicious. Okay, let's remove our tape. So peel your tape gently. Gently. Uh huh. We don't want to tear our paper. So kind of hold it close to the paper and slowly pull it away. Uh huh. Yeah. Good enough to eat, huh? Nice job. High five. Oh no no no. <laughs> Give me five. Yeah. Thanks for painting with me, buddy. Thanks so much for joining us today. We had a blast. I hope you enjoyed painting ice cream with us. Make sure to check out the next video. We'll see you over there. Bye. Bye.